first let us see what is scheduling algorithm that is the CPU scheduling algorithm ok. The scheduling algorithm which are otherwise called as scheduling policies which are mainly used for short term scheduling because here the algorithm is for CPU scheduling algorithm and assume only a single processor is present ok single core processor. The main objective of short term scheduling is to allocate CPU time to processors in optimized way that means see after creating a process that will be wait in a ready queue in a ready queue ok. Now the scheduler will select the best process for executing in the CPU for CPU execution ok. Hence we need to design the process in optimized way optimized way ok. Scheduling algorithm decide which process is read in the ready queue is to be allocated to the CPU which is based on the type of scheduling policy. So, based on the scheduling policy only the scheduler will select any of the process in the ready queue for CPU execution and the scheduling policy is either preemptive or non preemptive. These two algorithms we have already seen in our previous class itself and for scheduling arrival time and service time are also important. Arrival time means it at what time the process will enter into ready queue and service time means at what time the process will get the CPU for execution that is the start time service time which is otherwise called as start time ok. These two times are also very important while calculating the uh, next let us see the list of scheduling algorithm that is CPU scheduling algorithms. The first one is first come first serve scheduling algorithm which is otherwise called as FCFS algorithm. The FCFS algorithm is non preemptive algorithm that is once the process enter into the CPU, the CPU will execute that process without any break ok. The full process will be executed without any break that is non preemptive scheduling and next one is shortest job first algorithm which is otherwise called as SJF. This is also non preemptive scheduling and next one is non preemptive priority scheduling algorithm. Ok. Uh, this is non preemptive because the priority scheduling algorithm now the type is non preemptive and next one is shortest remaining term algorithm which is preemptive algorithm. Preemptive algorithm means there is a possibility of the process may execute uh, while executing the process may come out from the CPU because of IO request or interrupt or interrupt ok. So, this is preemptive. So, when come to preemptive scheduling there should be a context switch context switch which is used to re record the state of the currently executing process record the state state of currently executing process which is one. Uh, the context switch, context switch is used to, to record the current state of process before exiting from the CPU and next one is preemptive priority scheduling algorithm ok this is the preemptive one. Next one is round robin scheduling algorithm this is of course preemptive scheduling and next one is multi level queue scheduling algorithm, multi level queue scheduling algorithm this is also preemptive and multi level feedback queuing scheduling algorithm this is also preemptive algorithm. Let us see all those things one by one. The first one is first come first served scheduling algorithm that is FCFS algorithm. First come first served is just like FIFO that is first in first out queue data structure that means the data that is the process is waiting in the ready queue. The process which come first will be selected for executing first, executing first. So, this is first come first serve algorithm where 
the process which comes first to the ready queue is the one who is served first by the CPU which is called as FCFS algorithm. The next one is shortest job first algorithm which is the process having smallest execution time is chosen for next execution. For example, this is uh, the ready queue. In this ready queue, there are the different processes are waiting for execution. This is P1, this is P2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Um, 3, 4, 5. Here, the P1 size is very small. Hence, the P1 will be selected first because this is the shortest job. Shortest job means smallest execution time. The process which is having smallest execution time only selected next for execution. The next one is priority scheduling algorithm. Priority scheduling is a non-preemptive algorithm and this is one of the very common scheduling algorithm in batch processing. Okay, here for each process the priority will be assigned. The priority will be assigned to each process and the process with highest priority is to be executed first and the second highest priority will be executed next and so on. Right? The process with same priority are executed on first come first served basis. Suppose if the process are with the priority, um, first process is having fifth priority, second process 4, third process 4, fourth process 2, fifth process 1. This is PID and this is the priority. Okay, now which process will select first? This one. This one will execute completely. After that, P4 will execute completely. After that, P2 and P3 both are having same priority. Hence, P2 will execute first, then P3 will execute. Okay, after that, the P1 will be executed because P1 the priority is 5. Hence, it will execute last. Though it will come first in the uh, ready queue, right? The next one is shortest remaining time algorithm that is SRT algorithm okay and this is uh, the preemptive scheduling algorithm. Here the process with the smallest run time to complete will be executed to run next okay. Uh, if the process remaining time is very small then that particular process will be selected for executing CPU. The next one is round robin scheduling algorithm which is otherwise called as RR scheduling algorithm that is round robin. It is a preemptive scheduling algorithm here a fixed time will be given to all processes to execute in the CPU the fixed time is called as quantum. Okay, One process is executed for given time period and immediately that is preempted then other process executed for the given time period. For example, if the quantum time is 2, all the process will execute only 2 quantums continuously. Okay? And the context which, which is used to save the state of preempted process. The next one is multi-level queue scheduling algorithm. Multi-level queue scheduling algorithm means the processes in the ready queue are divided into different groups. Okay, here we are having different ready queues that is more number of ready queues are there and each group is having its own scheduling needs and here the ready queue is divided, divided into different queues according to different properties of the process like the memory size, process priority and process type. Okay, so based on the requirement each queue will follow the different scheduling algorithm. Right? All the different process can be implemented different ways that is different scheduling algorithm. Each process queue can have different scheduling algorithm. This is important. Right? In the multi-level queue scheduling algorithm, the processes are permanently assigned to a queue. That is in the previous algorithm, we are having multiple ready queues. But 
the process from the uh, processes are assigned to any one of the queue based on the uh, level level or group okay based on this the process will always assign to any one of the group and this will not be changed okay so the advantage is the scheduling is low overhead that is low scheduling overhead okay but it is having drawback also this is inflexible which one is inflexible multi level queue scheduling algorithm is inflexible that is we cannot interchange the process between the queues okay to overcome that we will introduce this multi level feedback queue scheduling algorithm so feedback is introduced here that means analyzing the behavior of all the queues and the scheduling algorithms so based on that the process will be change its priority okay based on the requirement we can change anything by using multi level feedback queue scheduling algorithm up to this we have seen the different cpu scheduling algorithms uh, like the first come first served scheduling algorithm shortest job first algorithm priority scheduling shortest remaining time scheduling round robin scheduling multi level queue scheduling and multi level feedback queue scheduling algorithms and in the forthcoming videos we will see each of the methods in detail with example please keep watching uh, the videos and make use of it thank you